So we'll be in here, you have killed Mephisto, you've gotten some items, but it turns out it's items you don't even need. I just killed him and I've gotten this Ariat's face, it's a barbarian item. I'm not playing barbarian, I need to get rid of it. How do I do so? Well, the problem with Diablo is that there isn't any good trading options in the game. So I can either create a new game and wait and hope that someone joins the game and has the item I need, which is a problem, because even if you create a new game, not everyone in your region, like I'm in Europe, not everyone can see your game, only the people that are connected to your server can see the game. So it's really hard to find someone online to trade with. You can of course create a new character and use the item, but the item might not even be useful in the build you're planning to build. So another option is that you can go online and trade item on forums. You can hope that someone sees your post before it's buried, because the people that use these services are usually the ones playing a lot, and they are only in the market for high-end items. So stuff like this might not even sell there. So I'll give you a solution that I've come up with. I'm Andre, and I make game extensions and web apps, and I've created something for Diablo 2 I think is pretty cool. I'm calling it Diablo Dex. it's short for Diablo Decentralized Exchange. Uh, no, it doesn't have anything to do with cryptocurrency, but it's a decentralized exchange in the way that it only helps people to facilitate a trade. And it looks like this. This is what you see when you open the app. This is a Windows native app. It only works for Windows, unfortunately. There is no support for Mac. Is Diablo even on Mac? I don't know. <laughs> And as you can see here, there are a couple of people online. This is the start landing page. And if I hover the items here, I can read all about them, the details. Uh, I can get in contact with the user by clicking an item and talking directly with them. So you can trade with other people without even creating a username. The user will be created right away when you enter the app. Uh, but you can add a battle tag if you want to. Uh, you can also be anonymous. And don't put in your battle tag and just put in a username, just like I've done. Uh, because you usually trade in Diablo per game. So th the extension will suggest a game name, like here, that both of you can join. And you can communicate directly with users in the chat box, like this. And just arrange a meeting in a game. So you want this to be as quick and easy as possible. So I can click this link and get a link to my item. And I can trade with users outside of the app. It's a good way to just show off the item and show off what kind of stats it has. You also have a nice profile link. Uh, if you click here and you get basically a link to all your items. All your needs and offers. So what I will do now is add this Ariat's face to my trades. I'll show you how it works. So we just go here on the trades and a new trade. And I put in the name. It will autocomplete, you can just click this, it will pop up with all the, I call it non-mutable properties. And we also show you the min and max for each of the stats that are mutable. So looking at this, you have to move this a little bit. You notice that the app, it is built as a game extension, but it really is a Windows native app. It goes nicely on top of the games, so you can have the app in focus and hovering items in game will work fine. So we put in the values, and it looks like this now. Uh, you can also notice that on the bottom here, you will get a price suggestion for your item. You have to take this with a big grain of salt, because this is a very rough estimate. Price prices vary a lot, like if it's ladder or non-ladder, if it's the start of a season or the end of a season. Uh, so I put a big disclaimer here that this is only to show you a rough estimate. A lot of times I pick up items and I have no clue what the item is worth. Like, I know it's not a super high-end item, but I see that the item looks like it can have some kind of value. So this is kind of to help you with that. You can see that the average price ranges from a pool run to two east runes. And if you have a perfect item, it, can be, it could be worth a lot. So mine is not, not bad but not perfect either. I'm gonna put a price of a pool rune. Want a pool rune for this. Uh, if the item is a magic item or a rare item, you can put in a custom name here, but since it's a unique item, um, we don't have to do that. And this is also where you can add custom properties on a unique item that is not needed because it always rolls with these properties. But you can put in whatever here. Like if I put in cold damage. 
I can put in adds x to y call damage and it will pop up here like a new property. I'll just remove that now. And let's add this to my offers. And that's basically it. I'm ready to receive offers. The way this works is that the extension will make a little sound and a little pop up, pop up and this will turn red. And you can see here that I have so, had some earlier trades with the users of Diablo Dex. But most of the things in this list is basically my testing. Uh, but let's get, go into an item and see how it looks. So I want to browse some items. Uh, as a default, it sets it to browse weapons. Let's have a look on this user's Jade Talon. And you can notice that I have a, a little feature here enabled as default. I can turn this on and off. Uh, so I can click on this to compare it to the original items. I can see what the user has put in here and I can compare it to what would a perfect roll look like and kind of estimate what the value would be. In addition to being a trading platform, we also have a database of all the items and we also have all the prices uh, in there. So if you browse this list under database and items, Let's make it a little bit larger. Uh, you can also see all the price estimations here. And these price estimations are from a dude called Grimbadool. I hope I pronounced that right. Great dude that has a huge list of basically all the prices in Diablo. And I think he updates the list often. I haven't been able to get in touch with him. He, I think he is German and is part of some German community. It's kind of hard to get a hold of him, but I'm uh, trying. I would love to do some uh, partnership or work with him so we can always have some nice and updated prices. So this list basically contains all the items in the game, all the normal and all the uniques, all the set items, all the normal items. And you can click here to directly search for the item you need after you found it. Uh, there's a quick filter. So if you need a Shaco, so you can put in Harlequin's crest here and just click here to see if someone has the item. There are other stuff here like runes and gems. You have a nice relation database here with all the rune words each of the runes are used in. We have like an average trade value of how much the runes trades for in the rune word overview of how much the popular rune words are worth. So we're actively building all the time on this platform. So I said that I make game extensions and web apps. Our first game extension and web app was eTrohub.com and we built a game extension for MTG Arena. It's a big extension now with around 100k users and we hope that we can grow the community around Diablo Dex 2. I really need people to trade with and I hope you do too. I hope we can all find each other on this platform. So to talk a little bit about the business side of the app, we hope to keep this app free and basically just run on ads ads on the web app and also in the game extension itself. Yes, I know ads can be a little bit annoying. It's a great tool so that we can keep building something we like and provide it for free for everyone. And at the same time, you get access to a great service without having to pay anything at all. And we plan to do it the same way we do for our other extension, like we will have a premium feature, but it's basically just gonna be that you don't get ads. Right now, there is no restriction on how many trades and needs you can add. We might need to throttle this down in the future, so future users might be limited to 50 trades or something like that at the same time. While users coming in now might get a premium for free and get access to putting out as many items as, as they want. As I want to provide an extra bonus for the early adopters. So DiabloDex.com, that's where you can download the app, that's where you can see the items out for trade. And not all features in the game app will be found on the website. Chatting directly with users is something that's only available in this app. And also a suggestion for a game name and stuff like that. That's all in the app. We're also building an open API for all of this so that other websites and Diablo communities can tap into that API and get trades for each item. It's already built in. So DiabloDex.com, go and give the app a try. See you in game. Have a good one.